my name is Maria and I'm a mathematician and today I'm going to tell you how to find the x and y intercepts. So if I'm given a line that is y equals 4x minus 7 and I want to find its x-intercept and its y-intercept, first I have to understand what those two things mean. So when you see a line on a graph, and this is not going to be the line to this equation, um, the x-intercept is the point at which my line hits the x-axis. So that point for this line would be right here, right? That's the point at which my x-axis and my line intersect. So that's what I mean by x-intercept. And then for y-intercept, it's the point at which my y-axis and my line intersect. And that point would be right here, right? So that's your y-intercept. And what you should notice is that for any line at its y-intercept, the value of x will always be 0, right? This point is probably somewhere around, let's say, 0, 4. But no matter what it is, even if it was here, it'd be 0, 5, 0, 6, 0, 7. So all along the y-axis, your x value is 0. So that's important to remember. And then by that same thought, x, your x-intercept, the value of y will always be 0 because we can estimate this point to be, let's say, negative 3, 0, right? Your y value will always be 0 all along this x-axis. So that said, if I wanted to find out what the x-intercept of this line was, what I have to do is find out when is y equal to 0, because that's where my line intercepts the x-axis. So I'm going to go ahead and set y equal to 0 and rewrite the rest of the equation. And then all I have to do is solve for x. So I have to get x alone, and I'm going to do that by adding 7 to both sides first. So if you add 7 to both sides, on the left side you're going to end up with 7 equals 4x. These cancel out. Now I'm solving for x, so I have to divide both sides by 4, divide by 4, and I get x equals, these will cancel out, 7 over 4, which I can leave or I can make a mixed number, so 4 goes into 7 just once with 3 left over, so that's 1 and 3 quarters. So that means that this line right here is going to hit the x-axis between the numbers 1 and 2. 1 and 3 quarters is the exact x-intercept, okay? And for the y-intercept, remember we said that, I'll write down intercept, we said that for the y-intercept, x will always be 0. So I'm going to write y equals 4 times 0 minus 7. y equals 4 times 0, sorry, is 0. I subtract 7 from that, and I get y is negative 7. So my y-intercept for that equation is negative 7. All right, so that is how you find your x and y-intercept.